What's happening everybody? Welcome to episode 149.7 of the Games of Grouse podcast. My name is Sonny G and I'm here as always with Finn Steele. Hello. 149.7. Yeah, just as it should be, as it's always yeah. been. Yeah, not <laughs> anywhere near 150 just yet. Nope. <laughs> I'm close. <laughs> Pretty close, but not just yet. Not quite, yeah. So if you there. think we've done 150 episodes plus... You're wrong. No, you're wrong. Yeah, sorry. Very wrong. <laughs> Finn, it's so hot. It is stupidly hot. Um, my fan line in the background, that's why my um, mic pop filter is on the side, so my fan doesn't blow into it. I haven't got mad, I promise. Any yeah. more mad than usual, anyway. <laughs> yeah, any more mad. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, yeah, bloody, bloody hot. Really bloody hot. I mean, we're just, <laughs> not, we're just not good at heat in this country. No, we're not built for it. Like if I was on holiday right now and it was like this, I'd be like, "This is this is awesome. This is amazing. This is, great. This is what I've paid money for to <laughs> yeah, yeah, be warm." Exactly. But when but you're at home, not at home, it's just not the same. It's no. not good. It's not no. fun. It's, it's hot. It's sweaty. It's uncomfortable, and it sucks. It sucks. Bring on the winter. Big time. <laughs> yeah. And during winter, we're like, "Ah, oh, it's too cold. It's rubbish." Bring on the summer. Yeah. It's, there's, it's there's, endless there's cycle. No yeah, there's no real happy medium for it. It's all no, sort of just like, we're either too hot or too cold. <laughs> yeah, we're never happy in England. That's just how it is. Always yeah. complain about the weather. Yeah, I mean, I, don't, I think, you know, you're not English if you don't moan about the weather. Exactly, yeah. That's what we do. That's our main thing. Yeah, it's like one of our, like, country's traits. <laughs> yeah. So if you don't moan about the weather, not English. Exactly. You're not, you're not really English. <laughs> no, not at all. Um... <laughs> I'm glad we're doing this now, or even though it is the middle of the day and it is absolutely roasting. Um, because otherwise, you know, we might not have got to do an episode this week, and that would have sucked. And we're trying to yeah. keep our, uh, you know, our momentum going. Well, we yeah. are steamrolling through 2021. I oh, can't yeah. believe it's August next week. I think that's insane. How, how is that possible? I know. Yeah, it's crazy. I just don't get it. No, I don't. It's like, let's uh, make it up for 2020. <laughs> I guess 2020 dragged on. And now it's, you know... See, I don't think it did. I don't think 2020 dragged on. I, th- I, th- I thought last year went really quick as well. Because we couldn't really I go guess. out and do anything. Yeah, I guess the, yeah, I guess it was just like... If, if it's, felt, it's felt like this mask thing and the pandemic lasted forever. It's actually only been like a year and a half. Yeah. I forget, I forget what it's like to be normal. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you know what? I went out yesterday uh, for the first time in a couple of weeks because obviously I've not been able to go anywhere. And I still wore a mask when I went to the supermarket. Yeah. Um, and a lot of people were still doing the same. I sh- I'm sure it's still the same in your shop as well. Yeah, I always buy one. Just in case. It's almost just become one of them things now. It's just, yeah, I've got a real issue with wearing one, you know? No. No, it's like, it's like, anyway, like yeah, once you get, once you wear a few, you know, for a while, you just get used to it, don't you? It's yeah, of like course, it. like anything, I suppose, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. We're, we're still pandemicking it up. <laughs> exactly. Just, yeah, we're, we're still we're still living the dream. Yeah, I've been on, I wear one all day at work, so I'm just used to it at this point. It's like nothing major. So, well, whatever. If you're just going shopping normally, you wear for what like five ten minutes, and then it's over. It's like whatever. I don't know if you've ever been shopping, but it takes a bit longer than five or ten minutes. Well, I guess so. But I guess it's like if you're just popping in for something. <laughs> yeah, fair enough. If you're just going to the shop <laughs> for a drink or something, then yeah. Yeah. Two and a half minutes. <laughs> Exactly. There's nothing. Yeah, people yeah. still complain. People still. Oh, know. people will always complain though. People will always yeah. complain about everything all the time. They just like complaining. I'm sure. I'm another of it. Uh, another trait of our country. Me, <laughs> yeah. Just love complaining about everything. Yeah, when we're not really painting a great and... picture of our country at this point. <laughs> no, it's a bit of a shithole, to be fair. Yeah, moaning <laughs> about everything and complaining about the weather. Yeah. And yeah, it's a bit and of complaining a complaining about people complaining. Us. Yep. <laughs> so yeah, so we, we we really do fit the bill. Pretty much, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. Uh quite a bit to talk about today, I think. Quite a lot of yeah. wrestling stuff happened over the weekend and over the last couple of days. Uh but we'll start as we always do. And that is with what are we playing? Finn. Yes indeed. As always we'll start with you. What are you playing? Uh, well I finally got the last couple of trophies I needed in the final about the seven DLC. Nice. So that's crossed off now. Beat the last boss. Well, the secret boss, which was a pain in the ass. 
Yeah. Uh, I managed to do it with one HP remaining <laughs> one of my characters. Wow. Because it does, it's like super move that pretty much instantly kills uh, everyone in one go, but Aerith has a ability that keep, like, keeps up one HP if you take a, like, a big hit. Mm. And he had like no health left, so I just like, cast one final spell just before he hit me. I'm like, I've got him, the bastard. Get in. <laughs> Get in. Take that, that, bitch. I mean, you got the plan? <laughs> uh, I haven't done it already. This is just DLT trophies. Oh, okay. Back at hundred percent. Nice. Nothing. Nothing yeah. worse than that, to be fair. Like you get the platinum <laughs> for a game, but then when you look at the game, you still got like sixty three percent because <laughs> with bullshit DLC trophies. Yeah, let's go to later, basically. There's so many, so right. much DLC for that. <laughs> uh, you know what? There is an insane amount of DLC for that. Yeah. Is it like crazy. a zombies one? Yeah, like zombies. The Skyrim one. Yeah, it's bloody yes, loads. Like MMO <laughs> one. <laughs> Why? Oh, who knows? Surely, Go easy. Simulator itself is just enough. <laughs> You'd think so, wouldn't you? That's enough goating. <laughs> yeah, we need any more, any more goating. No, no, no more goating. Goat. <laughs> it was a funny game, though. Oh yeah, definitely. Yeah, physics-based nonsense, but yeah, yeah. enough goating. Enough goating to get the <laughs> platinum for Goat Simulator. Absolutely. Uh, other than that, I've played uh, some Skyward Sword. Mm. I came out last week uh, yep. or this week. And yeah, really fun. Really, really good. The Wii version, but HD'd up. A few uh, quality of life improvements. You can use your controller now, which is nice. Now, you've played it before. Mm hmm. Um, is it an improvement, would you say? Uh, yeah, definitely. Uh, yeah, because uh, four, three, the little helper uh, was really annoying and I was like, just drive you every five minutes saying, You found a seed. Congratulations. This is what the seed does. And he came and pick another seed and says, this is the seed. This is what the seed does. He took you to Tommy. <laughs> and now she doesn't do that anymore. Thank goodness. Good. Um, yeah. And the, it, like, the beginning dragged on for ages because you just have to do like, loads of tutorial stuff. But now it's I've been streamlined quite a lot. Mm. So that's good. Um, and yeah, so I've been playing with the Joy-Cons with like waggle sticks. Yeah. <laughs> uh, which has been really good. Motion controls work really well. Um, obviously, you can use controller now as well, which I haven't tried yet. But I've heard good things. Yeah, well, I, I have been playing it as well. Awesome. And to be honest, that's basically all I've been playing. <laughs> um, I hadn't played it before, hadn't played the Wii version or anything like that. Um, but I'm really, really enjoying it. Like, I, think it's, awesome. I think it's a lot of fun. I, yeah. I like, I'm using a controller and I think the... Because you use the stick to do the sword, basically. Yeah, yeah. And I, th I think that works really well. Cool. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I, I think it's really good, man. I like the story. I like the characters. I like the world. Um, I've just gotten to, um, you know, where it's like lava and stuff. Oh yeah, I haven't got that far yet. I've done yeah, the first I, temple. I, I, I'm I'm there. So nice. um, probably played almost ten hours, I think. But I really nice. like it. I think it's great. Awesome. Yeah, really, really good. Um, some people don't like it for whatever reason. I don't know. I don't get it. But yeah, he's a Zelda. I like it a lot. I like the controls. And yeah, it's great. Good. It's, it's funny as well. A funny character, funny, you know. It is funny, yeah. I think it's funny. Yeah. I think it's amusing. I think the characters, I, I think the characters are great. Yeah, me too. I well, think it looks great as well. Yeah, it's probably my favourite version of Zelda because it actually has like a personality mm. rather than just being like a princess <laughs> you can rescue. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah because she, she does like, she, there's a lot of sort of speech for her at the beginning yeah. of the game and stuff. So uh, I like that. It's nice because it's sort of introducing. It's like, like a bit of backstory there, which is great. Yeah. Especially for sort cool. of Zelda, you know, non sort of flu you know, fluent in Zelda like a lot of people are. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Um, cool, so yeah, that's that. And the only other thing we're playing at the bit is uh, Tetris ninety nine. Uh, watching people play it online, making it look completely easy, just like insanely good. Like that's not so hard, I can do that. And then no. <laughs> My brain doesn't work fast enough. But I'm alright to start with. When it gets faster, I'm just like how do people think this fast? This is insane. People are then, robots. I'm certain of it. Pretty much. <laughs> yeah. And then I guess I think the best I've done is up to like number 13 in the last 13. Um, but then, yeah. Once you get like two people attacking you at once, you think this fills up instantly. It's like, I have no way to beat this. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's insane. But really fun at the same time. So because you've been playing your Switch, Tetris 99's <laughs> there and you're like, ooh. Yeah, I, I, just can't, I can't help myself. Yeah, I want to win one game, just one, and I'll be happy. Yeah. But it hasn't happened yet. <laughs> it's also a Pac-Man 99, which I haven't tried yet. It just looks fun. Oh, is there? Yeah, yeah. 
So I know that they had that uh, Super Mario Brothers one. Yeah, like Mario 35. Well. Yeah, that's so good. Oh, it's gone now, sadly, because Nintendo. Yeah, yeah, of course. I mean, why back. would you keep popular things? <laughs> I don't know. Right? It's so the bizarre thing. It's just a Nintendo thing to do. But I want it back. But yeah, other than that, that's about it. Cool. Yeah, I mean, I've only played, I've only been playing Skyward Sword. I mean, it's been so hot that I've not really <laughs> wanted to sort of. I've not had the energy in me to just sit around and play video games. Yeah, I know. I know. Um, I feel. So I've basically been taking my Switch up to, to bed at night time, you know, allowing sort of breeze to come through the window. <laughs> and I've been playing Skyward breeze. Sword, and that's where sort of my gaming time has come this week. But um, I've just had Mario Golf drop in the post. There's that. Nice. That's awesome. So um, I'm going to be playing a little bit of that. And also Wrestling Empire has actually had um, an update for like a, a booking mode. All right. Okay. So you can like book the book the territory as stone cold would say um so i'm gonna check that out as well so because that looks um really cool and i bought a game called state of mind and we're talking about it with the guys in the discord oh, yeah. um but i got it for like one pound 59 or something crazy like that from the on off the nintendo eShop. nice even if it sucks it's worth one pound 59 yeah exactly yeah so awesome. yeah i'm gonna i'm gonna keep plugging away with uh, skyward sword uh because i really like it and I'm, i just i can't stop playing it I get yes, to a point, I'm it. like, I need to go to sleep, but I want to keep playing it. Yeah. Because, um, you know, it's not too taxing on the brain. It's not overly difficult. And it's just so fun to play. And I, I just want to I just want to keep plugging away at it. And I'm, so I'm, I'm going to. Cool. Yeah. Same. Um, oh, yeah, I was replayed a bit of Persona 5 because I want to get back. I want to be it. I want to finish it. Cause I've got, I keep getting distracted on that. I'm going to play Persona 5 and then like find just 7 DLC comes out. So I'm going to play Persona 5 after that. And I'll get Skyward Swords. Get, okay, Persona 5 in a minute. <laughs> but yeah. But you, you finished it already though, right? Yeah, I beat the original, yeah. So I'll play it again. So this is version. Royale that you're playing? Or Royal, yeah, or exactly. Called. Yeah, Persona 5 Royal. i got Persona 5 Strikers now, which I want to get to as well. What's that? Like, that's a like, Dynasty Warriors like sequel. Oh, kind of, of course it is. Because <laughs> every, every franchise... Is. Needs the yeah, Warriors, every you know. franchise <laughs> needs a Dynasty Warriors. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it does look really good. They're quite unique for a Dynasty Warriors game. So, oh yeah, I'm sure it's. Uh, I'm sure it's cool, but god damn it, man, they have got their finger in every pie possible. Yeah. <laughs> so many. I was waiting for Dynasty Warriors Parappa the Rapper. <laughs> That'd be great. I want that. Make it with the Yeah, I want that. Yeah. <laughs> Love that shit. So good. Yeah, man. Cool. So yeah, we've not really been playing much this week, have we? We've been uh, yeah, too hot, really. too hot for too gaming. Hot. That's what that's what we're that's what the excuse is. Yeah, too hot, too busy. Yeah, everyone's off sick at work, so I'm there all the time. It's because <laughs> you're the boss. I am pretty much, pretty much. There you go. Look at you in charge. Mm. <laughs> uh, right. So, do we have any uh, do we have any gaming news to speak of this week? Uh, nothing super major. As far as I can tell, I didn't really look that hard to be honest. Uh-huh. Jesus world, what are you doing to us? <laughs> you want this podcast to be like half an hour long? Yeah, I know, right? And uh, it's going to be a Halo Infinite multiplayer beta, which will be detailed later this month. Cool. That could be fun. Because that's going to be like free to play now, isn't it? The Halo Infinite multiplayer. Uh, the multiplayer is going to be free to play, yeah. Yeah. That's interesting. But to be fair, I would imagine most Xbox owners have Game Pass, so you just have the game anyway. Yeah, good point. Pretty much. I like how GameSpot, like, Randomly put in wrestling news as well, which is kind of like us, really. But <laughs> like, well, all this game news, and then got like CM Punk potentially won it's returning to wrestling. It's like, well, okay, what's that got to do with games? I mean, I appreciate it, but <laughs> yeah. maybe they know that the two go hand in hand. Maybe they've seen this maybe. podcast and thinking, you know what, that works really well. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah. Um, oh yeah, so we've got some new uh, Super Nintendo games coming to Nintendo Online. Yeah, three three absolute classic games, which you know, <laughs> I'm sure we're all fans of. Can't wait to play. Yeah, buzzing. Um, yeah, I'm trying to figure out what the hell that's called. <laughs> uh, can't even read it. It's like on the box art. Clay Claymates Claymates Claymates. I think it's called Claymates. Oh, it's an M. Okay. Oh, Claymates. Yeah, I'll see it now. Uh, yeah, Claymates. Uh, Jelly Boy and Bomboozle. <laughs> you, you know the ones. <laughs> Classic, classic Nintendo games. Yeah, uh, everybody's asked for them, so obviously that's why they're there. Um, I like to think I'm pretty, you know, knowledgeable of video games. Um, I've never heard of any of those. 
They're completely, you know, what the hell Nobody are they? Has. They're just, they're just in random indie games that have been made that they're pretending were on the SNES. Yeah. Oh, Jap- Japan gets bloody Shin Megami Tensei. We get bloody Jelly Boy. Great. <laughs> Thank Nintendo. <laughs> do they seriously uh, get Shin Megami Tensei, do they? Yeah. Bastards. Yeah, but Jelly Boy. Yeah, yeah, true. Jelly Boy. You can't, you can't compete with Jelly Boy. No. Fucking <laughs> <laughs> Jelly Boy. Jesus Christ. Yeah. Awful. Awful. When are they? When are they coming on? Twenty uh, eighth, I believe. So next week. Okay. It's about next week. Yeah, yeah. I'm eagerly anticipating them. Yeah, can't wait. Maybe so much so that I will <laughs> definitely forget that they even came on there. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I keep forgetting that's even the thing. It's because they, they they barely promote it. Exactly. Yeah. And when you do promote it, it's like bloody here's Jelly Boy. Yeah. Here you go. <laughs> now they're going to talk about it again for another month. Yep. <laughs> Until we bring some other random ass crap games that you've never heard of. Yeah. <laughs> hey, look, for all we know, Jelly Boy could be, you know, just the world's greatest video game. You never know. Maybe there's like this huge fan We'll base. play it. We'll, do it. We'll, we'll check it out when it comes on to Nintendo Switch Online. Yeah. We'll report back. Whatever this thing's called. Yeah. Play it and play You know what? This was okay. Yeah. Or, or we'll play it and forget we even played it. Yeah. And we'll be like, that sucked, probably, because I can't remember. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Yeah. Uh, I'm looking for the news now. Not really a lot of anything, really. Um, Pez has changed its name and gone free to play. Oh, right. Okay. Okay. So Pez is now going to be just eFootball. Oh, okay. Okay. So the new version is going to be free to play um, across all platforms, literally everything. You're going to be able to cross play with people on mobile, PlayStation, Xbox, everything that it's on, basically. Um each version is going to be sort of so you think for, so people I've seen people like moaning about this because the trailer they showed sort of the graphics weren't that great but it, you know it's I think it's still very early I still think it's a good maybe two two three months off but cool. basically think Fortnite and how the different versions work of that and the fact that you can play with people on Switch and mobile and all that kind of thing you know with PS5 players and Xbox players and all that sort of stuff yeah so I mean cool. Fortnite looks great on console. It looks just yeah. okay on Switch. Mm-hmm. But you know, that that should be a your your, uh, your measuring stick, I think, for people's expectations. Instead of just sort of moaning fresh out the gates, think about it logically just a little bit and um I think it'll be fine. I think it's a cool way to do it. I think I think annual sports games should sort of have a free to play model. It would make sense, wouldn't it? Yeah, and then like if you know if there is extras that you want, because there's modes on FIFA and PES that I don't play. Yeah, and NBA it's... that I don't play. You know, so you should just be able to like, you know, have the options there for people. But so with this one, the offline modes that people play now, they're going to be available in future, like by some sort of DLC. Yeah, that makes sense because so, essentially, like I don't know exactly because I don't play them, but looking at it from an outside perspective this looks like pretty much the same thing every year it's like stuff that could be added in like a patch you know no I agree No, you're, you're absolutely spot on I mean um, FIFA has been the same this whole time yeah, barely <laughs> anything has changed they, they, EA always throw buzzwords around like oh yeah. like, for example so FIFA 22 is powered by hype motion that means nothing <laughs> to anybody nothing to hype anybody hype motion that's the thing some business guys in suits saying hmm, what can we call this year hype people like hype Motion, hype, motion. Ah, yeah. oh, there you go. Put it we'll on the box. tell them that it's powered by <laughs> hype motion, and hype they'll motion. buy into it. And it, but we'll just put the same game out. It's basically what it's going to be. I love it. So I think you know a free to play service, uh, a free to play like sports game, and then when the updates do come, you know if you want to pay for the updates or or however it's going to work, then that's fine. But have it as a free to play base, and then you know. Have your microtransactions. Yeah. This podcast is powered by extreme speech. (laughs) (laughs) I wish it was. was. We've got barely words at the best of times. (laughs) This is true. (laughs) So it's just like FIFA then, isn't it? It's live. Exactly, yeah. (laughs) Sonny Uh. and Finn, full of shit. Uh, yeah, so that that so Pez is going free to play, and I'm all for it. I'm looking forward to sort of seeing what they uh, what they come out with, and sort of how it all turns out, and how it progresses going forward. So that's exciting news for 
you know, because, you know, FIFA this week, they basically, so FIFA's going to be 70 quid. Oof. And then yeah. you've got Pez, which is going to have paid elements to it, but the base game is free to play. Yeah. So I think it's a smarter quid. market to move into because you're yeah, never going to match FIFA in sales. Yeah, it's just going to be like a next gen super version for 70 quid, or is it going to be like same oh, old, same old? Well, it's, it's good, powered by Hype Motion. <laughs> oh, it's a good point. Hype Motion, yeah, you're paying extra yeah. for that. Oh, you forgot. Yeah, good point. <laughs> hype Motion, come on now. Yeah. This is but true. with, um, yeah, I mean, it's, there's, there's not going to be. Um, like super differences for the current gen version. I say current gen. I don't know what's next in current gen anymore. So PS4 yeah, right. and Xbox and PC, um, they just get FIFA 22. But PlayStation oh. 5 and Xbox Series X uh, slash S, they get FIFA 22 powered by hype motion. <laughs> nice. That's, 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 that's why I PS5 for hype motion. Yeah. Yeah. It's more like FIFA 22 <laughs> powered by bullshit. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> Uh, yeah, money. Uh, yeah, then a bit of news that I just spotted is um, Psychonauts Two has been shown off and looks pretty great. It's pretty yeah, cool. Yeah, it looks awesome, man. I'm looking. It's a it, yeah, it look, looks good. It's, a, it's yeah. an Xbox exclusive, right? Uh, it's actually coming on PS4 as well, apparently. Oh, is it? To me, yeah. Oh, PS4 I had no on idea. PS5. It's coming to Xbox One and Xbox Series S slash X, but only PS4, I think. Okay. Which is a bit weird. It's, it's also just, day one on Game Pass, so that's probably where I'll play it. It is day one on Game Pass, yeah, so yeah, that's, that's how easy. I'm going to play it. There's no way I pay money for it. What's the point? Yeah, same here, yeah. Uh, coming out on August 25th. You're yeah. really at a point where you don't need to pay money for games. Just pay for your subscriptions, and the games will just be there eventually. Yeah, pretty much, yeah. If you wanted to, don't even bother buying games. You don't need to. No, it's <laughs> just, it's just save you money. Just, yeah. just pay 10 quid for whatever it is for Game Pass every month. Pay, you know, I got a year's worth of PSN for 30 something quid the other day <laughs> nice so you know you could just live off the free games every month yeah really good <laughs> um there's a random bit of news here WWE is searching TikTok for ring announcers for SummerSlam why what's wrong with yeah. the ring announcer you've already got this is Greg Miller or Greg what's his name not Greg Miller <laughs> <laughs> you don't use Greg Miller although I'm sure Greg. he'd love it and would milk I'm it sure he would death, but, but, um, yeah. <laughs> Greg, Greg Hamilton I think he's Hamilton good. that's the one <laughs> Sorry, Hamilton. All the, all the different okay. Gregs. Yeah. <laughs> My dad getting in there. Yeah, Greg Steele in there. Greg Rosetsky from tennis. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Greg's the bakery. You know, all the Gregs. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I think that's about it for gaming news. I can tell. There's a it's Pokemon a slow, Unite, which I think is slow news week. Game. Yeah, pretty much. That's okay. Yeah. We can only report what's there. And if there's fuck exactly. all there, we can report just fuck all, basically. <laughs> Pretty much. Yeah. Um, all right, then. So I guess that takes us to uh, one of my personal favourite segments on this podcast that we introduced this year. And yeah. um, you've put this week's together, just like you I did have. last time. I have indeed. So, ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the Game Heap. Game Heap. Heap. <laughs> it is. Boop, boop, boop. Ta-da. Right, this week's game heap is video game main characters. Ah. Uh, some of the some of the crops in these pictures are a bit broken, so <laughs> it's not super obvious. Um, yeah, okay. So we'll start from the top. Start with some obvious ones. Uh, Sonic, legend. legend, obviously. Yeah, Mario, legend. legend. Uh, Link, legend. Wait, I thought, uh, I, thought I thought his name was Zelda. <laughs> hey, oh, get, get out! Get out of here! Yeah, you, you're fired. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, well, Pokemon, I'll tell you Pikachu, because it's the most, you know, obvious choice. Yeah, legend. Pokemon. Yeah, of course. Um, Spyro. On PS1, where do you put Spyro? Great he's legend. Not, I don't think he's legend. No, I, I think quite there are as... people that would put him in legend. Yeah. I don't think he's as big as these names. I don't think so, but he's, he's you know, he's better than decent, so I'm going to go great. Yeah. Me too. Because uh, so, if you show someone like Sonic, they're going to know, even though they don't play video games, they're going to know who Sonic is. But to say yeah, they show them Spyro, they might not know, because they've you know, they never had a PS1 or whatever. Yeah, they'll be like, oh, it's a uh, purple dragon. <laughs> purple <Person>. dragon thing. <laughs> yeah. Um, how about Crash Bandicoot? Uh, I think go. Crash Bandicoot. <laughs> <laughs> crap, crap Bandicoot. This is, this um, is. I think Crash is legend, because I think... I think Crash is one of those household names when it comes to gaming. I think if you ask a lot of people about sort of uh, 
Everyone knows who he is. Yeah. I would say yeah, he's definitely more of a household name than Spyro is, for sure. Yep, yeah, I'd agree with that. I saw some people disagree, but yeah. That's oh, a, I'm that's sure they would, yeah. But, th- you know, <laughs> that's the beauty of opinion. Exactly. I never played uh, Spyro growing up. I did play it, like, afterwards. Um, did you play the, the remasters? Uh, not yet. I do want to play them. Really good. Yeah. Really, really good. Easy uh, easy trophies as well. Even better. Nice. Uh, cool. Next up, we've got two versions of Lara Croft. We'll start with the classic. Lara okay. classic. Um, well, uh, two, Lara, Croft's a, Lara Croft is a legendary character. Yeah. I think I do that. That version of Lara Croft, like pointy boob Lara. <laughs> pointy boob Lara, yeah. <laughs> I know they got sort of more well rounded by Tomb Raider 3. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, cool. And then we got the newer version of Lara. See, I think this version of Lara is a bit of an arsehole. Yeah. <laughs> she's a bit of an arsehole. Um, she's a whining troublemaker who <laughs> doesn't respect archaeology. Instead, she just blows things up. Everything that she goes to anywhere <laughs> near, she blows them up. And then yeah. pretends that it's not her fault. <laughs> oh my god, it collapsed completely by itself. Oh my god. Oh. Yeah, it wasn't my it's... fault. I can't believe his dynamite made it blow up. Crazy. Yeah, I, I didn't shoot every single person in there and then, you know, for some reason they tried to blow me up. No, uh, uh, not me. Um, <laughs> the games themselves, I think, are really good. Yeah. But if the character of Lara would have been handled better, I would have enjoyed the last one more. Um, yeah, as a, the games are good, but as a character, it's, yeah, I'm not a huge fan. I can see you hovering over bang average there, and I think that is probably about fair. Yeah. Good games, bad version of the character. Yeah, I agree. I think you could have made them games with just a female heroine and not call it Tomb Raider. Whether whether it would have been... But obviously you have to, you know, sell it as Tomb Raider for (laughs) it to sell. Because, let's be fair, people are very sort of stuck in their ways in terms of the way they purchase games and things like that. And um, new things don't always fly that well. Yeah, like if you... Didn't know that was. It didn't. If you wasn't called Lower Craft, you would even know that it was a Tomb Raider game. No, uh, it just doesn't look like Lower Craft. This is like girl Nathan Drake. Yeah, I see. Yeah, <laughs> Megan <laughs> Drake. Games are. Megan Drake. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> right, that's that. And we've got uh, a headless Master Chief. <laughs> Cheers to that. Why is he headless? I don't know. The cropping on this is a bit weird. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think Master Chief's legendary. There's no. Yeah, I think he's Xbox is you know mascot basically, isn't he? And I just think he's cool. He's badass. You know, he's just yeah. a, just a great looking, cool character. Great yeah, voice I'm... work all the time as well. And yeah, he's in an awesome series of games. Master Chief deserves to be there. Yeah, I agree. Cool character. Next up, one for me, uh, Joker from Persona Five. Um, I wouldn't call him Legend because of the young people aren't going to know who he is. Uh, I'd say great. I think you're being unfair to Joker there. You, th- you think so? I think, yeah, in terms of sort of people not knowing who he is, because obviously, you know, millions of people play Smash. True. He's in that. Uh, obviously, I I wouldn't put him in Legend personally, but I think Great is 100% where he should be. Great character in great yeah. games. Yeah, I agree. Um, but yeah, it's, it's like you know, Spyro. People, you know, outside of games aren't going to know who this generic anime, not generic, but this anime boy is. <laughs> no, you are you are right because you know yeah. probably you know to to us we know who he is and we can sort of differentiate him from other anime characters, but other people would just yeah. see it and think, oh, Japanese cartoon guy. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Yeah, but no, he's a great character. I like him. A yeah, lot. I agree. Yeah, uh, perhaps not not a great character. So you can't see him because he's chopped his head off. But Steve Burnside, that's supposed to be from Resident Evil Chronic, um, Resident Evil. What was it called? It was one Dreamcast. Co Veronica. That's the one. Co Veronica. <laughs> Do you remember him, Steve Burnside, one with the golden guns? I remember his head. No, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> not his body. Yeah, um, <laughs> I think he's probably he's an okay character. He's kind of annoying. That's his problem. His whiny voice. The problem is the voice acting's terrible. <laughs> For the most great. part, in those Resident Evil games, so yeah. that does not help the characters out at all. Not so much. Um, I I would say he's probably lacking. Sorry, yeah. Steve. Yeah, I agree. And that now, looks like Lara- yeah. <laughs> <laughs> body of Steam Birdside, the top half of uh, Lara Croft. <laughs> yeah, it's a good look. It's a great look for him. It is. It's Lara- really great. Lara Burnside. <laughs> or Steve Croft. Yeah. 
Um, but yeah, I like the game, but I wasn't a big fan of Steve. Sorry, Steve. Steve, Steve Croft is the most white person name of all time. <laughs> Pretty much is, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, I'm Steve Croft. This is. Yeah. Uh, right, next up we have uh, Banjo Kazooie Classic, a Nintendo 64 game. Oh, I do have a big Justin Burnside. Get out of here. Uh, where is it? I thought it was now. Here he is. Boop. Oh, there we go. That's better. Yeah, that's much better. Still yeah. crap, though. Oh, we're still lacking. Not quite crap. Slightly above crap. Slightly above crap. Yeah. Uh, yeah, next up, uh, Banjo Kazooie. Um, I'm going to guess Great or Legend. Probably put it here. I have to be honest. I I was never really a big fan of Banjo Kazooie the games. Yeah, um, I never played I, them, but I, I I don't have as much um, like affinity with them as others do. Yeah, same. So me personally, they're going decent, okay. but I can see why they would be higher. Yeah, I'd put it in great. Like okay. you, I didn't play it growing up, um, but just from their, you know, their status as you know, as recognizable as they are. Yeah, people love Banjo Kazooie. Yeah, they do. To be fair. Uh, yeah, I put it in. I put it in great. We didn't smash it well. We made it into there. Fair play to him. <laughs> That's true. Yeah, so I put it in great. Okay. Cool. Next up, not so great. Bubsy, <laughs> the cat. Everyone's favorite mascot character. People don't like Buzz, uh, Bubsy, do they? <laughs> no, it's just just that you know generic nineties. Character, everyone's trying to get on like Sonic and Mario hype train. Like, we, we can make a mascot character that make him a cat with an exclamation mark on his t shirt. Yeah, let, let's drop him down a couple of layers here. Yeah, it's been a crap. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, <laughs> sorry, he's annoying. But, sorry, yeah. Bubsy. He's annoying, he's generic, his games are crap. He's, yeah. It's garbage. Get out of yeah. Bubsy. Yeah, fuck you, Bubsy. <laughs> uh, next up, uh, we have Yuga Lady, who desperately wanted to be Banjo Kazooie, but isn't. Uh, this kick- Kickstarter game. Uh, I think it was some of the. I don't know if it's sort of some of the developers behind Panzer Kazooie, but someone they wanted to make a successor to Panzer Kazooie because Microsoft were doing weren't doing anything with them. So we want a new Panzer Kazooie game. Here's this one, and it turned out which wasn't very good. Yeah. Um, I mean, I think I, I I don't even know if I've played it. Yeah. Um. I mean, I know that they didn't it didn't review that well, isn't there? Is there two of them now? Uh, yeah, they made another one which is much better. It's like a Donkey Kong Grunchy uh, country style game. Oh, okay. Two like D, which is a lot better. Uh, uh, okay, well, I mean, I'm going to let you pick this one because I'm not sure. I mean, but based on what I've read, it would be sort of bang average to lacking. But if you've yeah. played both, and then you've probably got a more informed decision than me. Yeah, I'm not a fan of, of the design. It's kind of a bit, you know, a bit boring. It's super not as recognizable. Yeah, not as recognizable as Banjo. So I'd say average. They're fine. It's not great. Okay. Yeah. Next up, Cloud Strife. Legend. Final Fantasy VII. Yeah. So <laughs> it's recognizable, it's ridiculous. Yeah, seriously. Even you know. <laughs> you know who he is, and you know, you know, you played the. Did you play remake? Yeah. Yeah, okay. I haven't That's finished cool, it think, yet, but I have got it. Yeah, but I think people who haven't played any Final Fantasy game still know who Cloud is. Definitely, yeah. Yeah. Um, it's just, it's just, it's one of those sort of instantly recognisable characters. Well, maybe not instantly, but he's definitely one of those. Um, it's the sword, the sword and the hair. I, just, I, I feel <laughs> exactly. like they're the, the most iconic things. Yeah, it's like unlike Joker, people will at least recognise who he is. He would have seen him before somewhere. Yeah, I feel like. So yeah, I'll put Cloud in legendary. Yeah, for sure. Definitely. Uh, next up, we have Commander Shepard. We're both the male and female. It's essentially the same character, just different yeah, genders. Yeah. Um, um, yeah. I mean, people love these games. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I would say, I'd say they're decent. I mean, they're, they're a little bit generic for me. I have to be honest. Yeah. Like in terms of sort of actual characters, they just come across a little bit wooden. Yeah, I guess that's kind of intentional because you got to like you make them your own. You make that's your own true. Choice, I guess. Yeah, that is true. But I mean, you know, yeah. male shepherd, most generic look of all time. <laughs> Pretty much. Uh, female shepherd, really not that far behind him. So I would say, yeah, they're, I, th- I would say they're decent and maybe not any higher. Yeah, I think I'd agree with that. Yeah, I want to go back and play this game. But yeah, I'd agree with that. Um, yeah, I'd just say it's pretty generic. It could be on, on purpose, but yeah. Mm, yeah, I agree. 
But you know that you know the, the, he throws up an argument as you know what you know what, what do you want from a what do you want a character <laughs> looks like you know you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. You know, I, I, I think decent. Yeah. Uh, next up, I've got Conker from Conker's Bad Fur Day on the A sixty four. Basically, um, a parody of um, Nintendo games. I mean, this game is so expensive to buy. Like, if you like want an actual N sixty four, it goes back to that sort of conversation we had last week. Like yeah. with people sort of buying ridiculous or buying old games for ridiculous money, this one always seems to go for shitloads of money, and you can just play it on Xbox. Yeah, it's true. Yeah, you can. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, well, I think it's like banned in some places because it was so like, you know. Rude. Yeah, it's a bit. Uh, <laughs> yes, it's a bit rude in comparison to you know the likes of Sonic, Mario, and all the just cuddly sort of characters. <laughs> yeah. um, I like him. Um, I think is I do think it's very funny, so I would say I would go decent. Yeah. Um don't agree, I haven't actually played it myself. But I don't think it's he's as recognizable or don't think his games are quite as good as like a banjo. I mean he Spyro. looks like the most you know, if you're not, you know, knowledgeable about gaming, the very there's a very good chance you don't know who Conquer is. It's very true. Because he just looks like a squirrel. <laughs> yeah. In clothes. Much. You'd think he was like a like, you know, from a DreamWorks movie or something. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's very true. Uh, yeah, I'd, I'd agree with you there. I'd agree with you decent. Uh, Stop swearing, though. Good stuff. <laughs> yeah. This is a great game. Uh, yeah, next up, we've got Croc from the PS1 era. Again, much like some of these others. Kind of trying to cash in on the mascot. Yeah, did uh, he only... Legend of, the, Legend of the Gobos? Is that what it was called? Gobos? Yeah. Something like that. Do I have one? No, I think I played a lot back in the day. I How many games it. did Croc get? Uh, I want to say two. Yeah, I think that's yeah, sounds right. Croc one or two, yeah. Um, but it is, compared to similar games on the platform, not as good. I mean, I no, I mean if you play it day, now, it sucks. Yeah. Back in the day, I liked it, but now, no, not so much. He's not, he's not Busby crap. Not quite. No. So, uh, lacking is fair. Well, yeah, maybe bang I, average. Maybe, I think maybe we're being harsh on Croc. Maybe. But people do have some fond memories of him. Yeah, true. Yeah, I got a yeah, bang average today, I think. Okay, all right. Uh, next up, similar, around the same sort of time, uh, Gex the Gecko. I mean, Gex's games suck, really. Yeah, nowadays, <laughs> for sure. Again, that one I enjoyed back in the day, but playing it now. Yeah, they, they were sort of relied on, like, old sat- like satire-type comedy. Um, yeah. Like he's, you know, his pictures where he's dressed up as James Bond and shit like that. To be honest, I would, I would say Gex is crap, because I've just... Yeah. Like if they brought a new Gex game out today, I'd be like, no one gives a fuck about this. <laughs> That's fair. I don't think it's quite as bad as Bubsy, personally. Um, also, how unoriginal are some of these character designs? <laughs> yeah, it's like a gecko with sunglasses. Yeah. It, it, <laughs> again, it could be anything. Croc, they've done no effort at all. It's literally a crocodile. <laughs> yeah, exactly, yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, I'm torn. I'm going to go lacking for now, I think. Okay. Yeah. I think it's quite as bad as Bubsy. Bubsy's like just the worst. Yeah, Bubsy sucks. <laughs> cool. Next up, we've got Cuphead from Cuphead. So, <laughs> again, my love so much. Uh, great game. Really, really great game. Um, so good. Very recognisable, I think. Yeah, I agree with that. Very unique. Um, I would say, I would say he's definitely in great. Yeah. I'm not sure he's quite the stuff of legend yet, but um, that's. I mean, Cuphead is such a great game. And yeah, there's a Netflix so the series come in as well. Oh, is there? Ah, oh, that's awesome. <laughs> but yeah, the art style's amazing, like an old, you know, old timey movie. I yeah. love it. Uh, yeah, so yeah, I really great. love the art style. Yeah, great character design, design, and yeah, I'm putting great is a good place for him, I think. Yeah, for sure. Awesome. Uh, next up, we have Doom Guy from Doom. <laughs> <laughs> Doom Guy from Doom. Yeah. <laughs> um, as a character, he's pretty boring. Yeah, it did not didn't really have any characteristics. I guess no, that's kind of the point, but he's just mercenary. He kills yeah. things. As a character, I mean, his games armor. rule. You know, his yeah. games are his games are legend all day. But as a character, he's pretty boring, to be honest. Yeah, people aren't going to know who he is from first glance. No, no. If you show them that picture, they'll be like, "Oh, it's like a knockoff Master Chief." <laughs> exactly. Yeah, Master Chief. No. I Honestly, think. I would say lacking. Yeah, because he just doesn't do anything. That's true. Uh, mm. Doom fans everywhere right now, <laughs> listening to this podcast, screaming 
<laughs> Doom is great. Doom is a hell of a game. Yeah, we're not saying the game. The game fucking rules. Yeah, the Doom guy himself, a bit pants, a bit boring, a little bit pants. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Sorry, Doom guy. We love your games. Uh, next up, we have Adam Jensen. I I never asked for this from Deus Ex. <laughs> <laughs> never asked for this. <laughs> Again, great games. Boring character. Oh my god, yeah. he's he's boring, man. He's like. <laughs> He's just boring. You know what I mean? I, yeah. I like the look of him. Well, but as a glasses. character, he's just so boring. Yeah. I like his sunglasses that come out of his face. Yeah, his sunglasses rule. I wish I had that. <laughs> yeah, me too. <laughs> yeah, I would just love to be like, boop, and then like, just sunglasses appear. <laughs> but but yeah. um, I think as uh, an actual character, uh, Adam Jensen is super boring. Yeah, it's pretty generic. I do like his design. Yeah, I do. I love um, the design. So I think it puts him slightly above Doom Guy, maybe. Yeah, well, he actually talks for a start, so I mean that, that is true. Yeah, he's already above Doom Guy. Yeah, that's true. I'll put him in average. Okay. Oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, he did. He didn't uh, have to be. He didn't have to be average. <laughs> he didn't. <laughs> uh, next up, we have Ellie from Last of Us. I feel like the next two should come as a package. Yeah, true. Ellie and I'm not sure where you're gonna be. Yeah, Ellie and Joel from Last of Us. Um, I think they're legend just because the the story, you know, it's it's rare in video games that a story really hits you. You know, True. it takes a lot for a story to be so incredibly gripping and for you to you know fall in love with the characters. Um, you know, there are so many games that just they've not they don't know how to do it. But Naughty yeah. Dog have sort of you know developed this way of making you care about the characters, giving them storylines, and making you actually have you know, feelings for the characters in question. Um, yeah, for that, in my opinion, Joel and Ellie are in Legend. Yeah, exactly. Because they feel the, like actual people. Because those games are just stunning, you know? Yeah, incredible. Um, both of them are stunning. Uh, I don't know if you've played two yet, but... Um, oh, I've landed two. Come on now. Oh, sorry about that, yeah. <laughs> um, but I think, you know, the, Ellie and Joel, um, they have to come as a package for me and they're both legendary yeah agreed they're great good stuff uh next up i don't know if you played any, any of his games we've got mega man from mega man and mega man uh whatever it's called mega man x mega man zero mega man this and that uh mega man sucks he's <laughs> in crap no boo screw I'm you joking, i'm joking <laughs> i don't know um i'd say great 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 person <laughs> personally again not not recognizable as a sonic or mario but still a very iconic game for his time. Yeah, I mean, I, Mega Man is super iconic, you know? Yeah, absolutely. I got um, mascot for the boy's day. Yeah, I mean, I, I think he, he looks boring. Mm. But, you know, again, you could, you could do this for everyone, <laughs> couldn't you? You could just be like, oh, yeah, it's boring as shit. <laughs> but no, um, I love Mega Man. I think he's, you know, a, a fun character. I'd say great. I, I would. I would agree with great. Yeah, I was joking when sure. I said crap. I know. <laughs> it's all good. Um, next up, we have another Naughty Dog creation, Nathan Drake from Uncharted, of course. Uh, straight into legend for me. Um, yeah, great series of games, great character. Um, really made me fall in love with you know storytelling in video games. Um, yeah. so I just love the way um, he and Sully interacted um, during the first one. I hadn't really seen anything like it. I hadn't really played anything like it before. And I just think it's um, he's a, a, a once he, he looks super generic. Don't get me wrong, but as um, a personality, it's just he's a, one of them sort of once in a lifetime characters that you can't recreate. Yeah. See Lara Croft sitting there in Bang Average. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. There's a right way to do an adventurer, which is Nathan Drake. There's a bad way to do one, Lara Croft. <laughs> exactly. Uh, no, I'd agree with that. Uncharted games, and that's another one I want to get back to because we've got obviously we've got the trilogy on them. Um, PS4 slash yeah. 5 um, yeah great games love them yeah for sure next up we have Kratos from God of War boy boy uh, boy. another one for me who would sit in legend because you know he's actually got a rich history yeah from PS2 you know he's he's great man he's just so fucking badass <laughs> it's pretty badass yeah like you know he's super angry in the you know the few well, the many God of War games leading up to PS4 God of War, yeah. Um, but it's just great. It's just such. Um, it's just such a 
he's just a great character you know really badass um and shows all sorts of different sides like like i said super angry Mm -hmm. and then super placid and you know showing signs of frailty and getting older and things like that in the newer god of war yeah but um (laughs) yeah a really tremendous character um and i think one that people would recognize so for me and i think a lot of you know playstation fans would agree he's in legend yeah, it's never another PlayStation mascot. Uh, it's only got better with the newest version on PS4. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, I agree with that. Cool. Next up, uh, let's put these together. We have uh, Solid Snake from, of course, Metal Gear Solid. I feel like I know what you can say here. Uh, yeah, the, uh, you know, no words needed. Yeah. Straight it's, to legend. What a character. Metal Gear. Metal Gear questions everything. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Always question marks, just like Metal Gear. My favourite is the Lily the Lily Lee Lay Low. <laughs> <laughs> it's just the best name of anything. It's just amazing. It's not they've not even thought about it. It's gone uh someone, someone like burnt their mouth on tea. Oh Lily Lay Low. Oh yeah, that's what we'll call it actually. That sounds really good. <laughs> uh, I love it. I love the game. Unbelievable just, games. Yeah. I think it's five, been a... not great. But you know, that's again just my opinion. People love it. Yeah, I love five. I wouldn't put it as high as the others, but I do like five a lot. Yeah, that's fair. Cool. Next up, we have a headless Bryden from Metal Gear Solid 2. Uh, I mean, he's, he's not overly popular. No. I think Metal Gear Rising Revengeance is a good game. Yeah, I should put him on there as well. I quite I'll count them as two different characters. Uh, but, um, uh, he's okay, isn't he? He's not terrible. He's all, yeah, he's all, okay. I'd put him on average. average. Yeah. Yeah, I'll put him decent, but he's kind of annoying and kind of generic. Just a long guy. Yeah, um, but if it was Mount Get Rising, uh, Raiden, it'd probably be more great. Cause I love yeah, he's a bit so more much. badass in that one. Yeah, it's so cool. Um, cool. Next up, I'm gonna put these together as well. Uh, next up, we have got a headless Leon Kennedy from Resident Evil. Uh, Leon fucking pretty. rules, man. Um, yeah. Leon. Um, Leon. Hell. Obviously, first introduced in Resident Evil Two. Great mm-hmm. character, and you know he's a Resident Evil mainstay now. He's in that new Netflix series that they've just brought out. Um, yeah, I think he's. I think Leon is legend, right? Yeah, I'm talking between legend and great. Oh come on! <laughs> why, why, why? Um, just again, it's like, will people know who he is? Um, outside of gaming. Well, I think Resident Evil sort of transcends gaming. Yeah, to be fair, he, he has got that metal great job, hasn't he? So I guess, yeah. He might not Good have point. a head, but he's you know he's definitely <laughs> legendary. Yeah, this, this is him after he gets attacked by that chainsaw guy. From four. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> do you remember the uh, controller, the GameCube controller with the? I do the remember that actually. Yeah, fucking hell, it was huge as well. <laughs> it was massive. <laughs> Wish I bought one. Expensive now, anyway. Jesus Christ. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Next up, we have. Uh, you can't see it again, but it's, uh, Regina from Dino Crisis. Well, he's about um, Marvel. She's so. She's so so. Yeah. I don't really decent. have much in the way of personality. Them games are great. Yeah. But she's yeah, okay. okay. I mean, I, I'm not even sure decent. I think about maybe no. bang average. Hmm. But this is alright. I think she has. I think she's had a decent. Well, a little bit of personality. I did red hair. <laughs> <laughs> That's <laughs> personality. Yeah, I guess so. Um. I'd put I'd put her above Adam Jensen and Ryden. Okay. Personally. Okay. Yeah. All right. I'll, we'll compromise. Yeah. We'll go decent then. Okay. This is right. good. Next up, everyone's favourite main character from every video game. John Cena. Um, uh, every wrestling game ever. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I mean, it's John Cena. Of course. Legend, right? Yeah. Of course. It's John Cena. You can't beat him. Next goes into Legend. Don't even don't even ask. <laughs> oh, Ryu? Is, Azuki? Is that his surname? Yeah. People Ryu aren't going to know. Suzuki, isn't it? Something like that. People aren't going to know who he is. It's, it's, it's oh, no, a boring no. character. <laughs> <laughs> he can't speak. <laughs> hey, Simba. <laughs> he yeah. can't speak proper sentences. <laughs> Fukuza. <laughs> <laughs> He's got a Sega oh, Saturn just hidden away. <laughs> yeah. For no reason. Thank you, wrong. Thank you, Bong. I love these games. I like him. But he's not a good character. Yeah, okay. But he's badass, though. Forklift racing. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Collect a little virtual fighter people out of the uh, <laughs> twisty machine things. It's true, true. 
But yeah, but he, there's sort of there's no sort of denying that he's fairly boring. I mean, he wouldn't be very interested to go out for a drink with, probably. <laughs> probably not. Hey, son. Uh, I go. Can you tell uh, me about this. Hey, tell son, me about this drink. Sunny son. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go play Outrun in the arcade. <laughs> That'd be awesome. Uh, can we get, can we at least go decent and give him a shred of dignity? Yeah, we can go decent. I'd agree. I'd, get, I'd be okay with that. Okay. Cool. Uh, next up, Rio from Street Fighter. Another Rio. Legend. Yeah. I Iconic. Agree. Iconic. Uh, but yeah, sorry. I agree. Rio's great. As is Ken, but I'll just swap put the one in there. Yeah, yeah, they're both the same. <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. But yeah, Rio and Ken, just, you know, people, again, people don't know who he is just from the look of him and by saying, how do we work in? Yeah, exactly. I mean, sure it's, just, it's just so legendary, which is crazy. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, next up, we have Samus from Metroid. Uh, yeah, um, I would say. Oh, I don't know. Again, it's one of those that are people going to know who she is. Yeah. Because it's not um, as featured as Mario or, or Link. Okay, I, I think great. Yeah, I'd definitely go great, for sure. I think most people won't know that Samus is a girl. <laughs> it's true, outside, yeah, outside of gaming. Just, uh, yeah, for sure. I'd go great. Okay. I do love. As, as I said, I love uh, Metroid. <laughs> I love Metroid as a character. <laughs> but I love Samus. <laughs> Uh, I love the games, but yeah, just by the fact that people aren't going to know who she is, I'm a bit great. Okay. Yeah. That's cool. Next up, we have Sly Cooper from the lesser known uh, game, Sly Cooper, for PS2 and 3. Yeah, um, I like them games. Really, really good. And you I do? actually like Sly as a character as well, but, you know, he's not going to be as well known. Um, but I think as a character, he's really good. Yeah, I think he's got a good design. It's more, it's not just like a, a squirrel or or like a, a crocodile. No, he's got he's got something about him. Yeah, you know, yeah, he's um, he's a raccoon, is it? Oh uh, yeah, yeah. So you know, he's not like Croc that is just obviously a, a crocodile, as, or <laughs> you know, Gex or um, what's his face? Bubsy. No, yeah, well, yeah, Bubsy, <laughs> and also um, Conkers. So I think yeah. Sly Cooper is really good. I would love a PS5 game. Um, not sure we'll ever get it. Probably won't, but I would love it if we did. But yeah, I think he's a great character. Yeah, I've been him great. Because I was one of those where I hadn't heard of him until the PS3 collection came out. I played oh, yeah. the first one and thought, oh, this is really good. I enjoy this. Yeah, it's really good. Good cast yeah. of characters in that game, actually. Really, really good. It's like his, his friends and stuff, they're really cool. Yeah, really cool. Awesome. Uh, next up, we have Trevor from uh, GTA V. Um, Who's hilarious. I, I mean, I think most people know who Trevor is. Yeah, I agree. But GJ Five still standing, despite everyone owning a copy of the game. Twice. Twice. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I literally owned it twice. Actually, I owned it three times. <laughs> PS3, uh, PS4, and PC. Yeah, I've got it on Xbox, PS4, and <laughs> PS3. <laughs> nice. <laughs> For fuck's sake. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I mean, people love Trevor. He's great. He's, uh, I picked him out of the other three because I just don't think it's the most recognisable. Oh god, easily, easily. Yeah. Um, I think Michael's great, and I like Franklin as well. But Trevor's the one that really stands out because he's just the most outlandish in the game. Yeah, I agree. Uh, I would, I would say he's legend. I mean, you know, that game is legendary. It's very true. It's like, yeah, literally. The fact the that we're even getting a new version ever. of it this year <laughs> yeah. and not GTA Six, you know, speaks volumes. And I think the characters. Absolutely. Um, are a big part of that. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, I'd say Legend as well. Completely agreed. Uh, next up, we have. Um, is that. Were you the name, game's name again? No, Kaz Kazuya from Yakuza. Is that his name? Uh, I think so. I need to put, put, look it up now. God damn it. His name is Kazuya, I think. Um, you dropped him straight into Legend as well. That, that was unintentional. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, Kaz Kazuya Makiriyu. That's his name. There we go. Cool. Um. I think he's I think he's decent. Stick him in there with Rio because you know they're about the same. I don't know. I think he's got more personality than Rio for sure. Okay. Because yeah, you know he has yeah. Rio's just in, Rio can't talk. <laughs> yeah, fair enough. Yeah, he, he's, uh, his conversation isn't great. Whereas I guess. Okay. Yeah. Okay. We'll go for we'll go for great. It, yeah, weird one because I haven't actually played it. I have I watched <laughs> other people play it. Yeah, <laughs> not all the way through. But he comes across as a good character, a good likeable character. Yes. Yeah, I'll be great. Cool. Okay. And of course, everyone's favourite video game character from 
a game such as Chronicles of Riddick and the new one that's coming out soon, which I can't remember the name of. Um, it's been <laughs> Diesel. For fuck's sake. <laughs> um, he's, he's done some such shit games. Like Chronicles yeah. of Riddick, good. Wheelman, yeah, go. not good. That's good. Uh, Sorry, Vin Diesel. You are... Uh, yeah, you're crap. Yeah. I'm not, I'm not even sure how he's st- still acting, to be honest. Yeah. Uh, what is that game? Is-, is keeping him in a job. Pretty much. What is that game that's coming out? Is it Ark? Ark 2, is it? Oh, he's in that, isn't he? Yeah. Christ. Yeah, that's the one. <laughs> Weird. Random. Because he but has yeah, like a video game company because he's like a big gamer or something. Yeah. I mean, if he's a big gamer, stop making shit games. <laughs> exactly. But yeah, I'd say, yeah, you're not good. Sorry. Sorry, Vin. Yeah, sorry, Vin. <laughs> Mr. Diesel. That's not his real name, Vin. Mm-hmm. Can't be, surely. No. no. John Cena's better than you. Sorry, bro. I, I think Vin Diesel's <laughs> first name is Oliver. Hey, Oliver Diesel. <laughs> <laughs> That's a great name. What are you talking about? I don't know anyone called Oliver. No. Me neither, but, you know, it's a cool name. Yeah, cool name. <laughs> cool, and that's about it. That's that Steve Lansard again. Yeah, really cool. Enjoyed that. Um, got some, of course, legends, legendary legends in there. Yeah, I think I, I think we'll just do a quick recap. So in Legend, we've got yeah. Sonic, Mario, Link, Pikachu, Crash Bandicoot, Lara Croft from the first, the, the original games, uh, Master Chief, Cloud. Uh, Joel and Ellie from The Last of Us, Nathan Drake from Uncharted, Kratos from God of War, Solid Snake, Leon Kennedy, John Cena because um, <laughs> Ryu from Street Fighter and Trevor from uh, Grand Theft Auto Five. Mm-hmm. In Great, we've got Spyro, Joker from Persona, uh, Banjo and Kazooie, uh, Cuphead, Mega Man, Samus, Sly Cooper, and uh, can't pronounce his name. <laughs> Kazooie and Kiryu. Yep. <laughs> in decent, we've got uh, the Shepherds, Conker from Conker's Bad Fur Day, um, the red-haired lady from Dino Crisis, Regina, and good old boring Rio from uh, Shenmue. <laughs> yep. In bang average, we've got new version of Lara Croft, uh, ukulele. Is it ukulele? L- ukulele. Ukulele. Oh, yeah. Like the instrument. Exactly. Okay. Croc. Um, Adam Jensen. The most boring man on earth. He didn't ask for yeah, it. And um, <laughs> uh, Raiden from Metal Gear Solid. Mm-hmm. Uh, lacking, we've got Steve Bernstein. 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 Bernside. 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 Yeah, that's the one. Yeah. Um, from Resident Evil Code Veronica, we've got Gex the Gecko, which is obvious from looking at him. Doom Guy <laughs> from, you guessed it, Duke Nukem. And, um, <laughs> oh, there's a bit of Duke Nukem in there. Oh, damn it. Duke Nukem, what oh, a character, well. man. Yeah, and then in crap we've got <laughs> we've got Bubsy and <laughs> fucking Vin Diesel. Okay, we're gonna do Nukem. <laughs> got that free with the uh, Duke Nukem forever. Greatest game ever. <laughs> yeah, sure. Uh, yeah, so yeah, Vin Diesel's in uh, in crap. Yeah, along with Bubsy. <laughs> yeah, it's a cool list. Very cool list. Let us Great know list. if you agree or disagree with this list in Discord or on Twitter. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Hit us up Twitter at Games and Graps. That goes to the same for Instagram and Facebook as well. Yep, or we'll leave a comment on YouTube. A nice like one. The video. Yep, a nice one, please. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Don't be dicks. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, man. So that was the game heap. I love doing this. I, 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 I like the new way that we're doing it. Yeah, me too. Very cool. More to come in the future. Maybe we'll do a best thing one next time. Ooh, yeah. Good shout. Yeah. Good shout. Um, do you mind if we just take a, a quick break? Right, I guess we should uh, probably move on and talk about the uh, all the wrestling that happened this wrestling. past weekend. Yeah. So it's been an exciting few days. It has. Very interesting. Yeah. yeah, man, definitely. Great to see the return of fans. I mean, it's um, WWE needed it. I mean, AEW have had fans for a little while, not full capacity um, like they are running now, but they've, they've had fans at Daly's Place. But WWE, as we know, have been sort of just... Thunderdoming it up, yeah, yeah. But I'm glad that the Thunderdome era is is gone. Yeah, it was you know a very interesting time, um, a very unique situation, and I made the best of it, I think. But um, yeah, now it's moved on. I'm I'm not sad to see it go. Oh no, absolutely, I'm not not sad to see it go at all. Um, so obviously, you know the the weekend of excitement started with SmackDown. Yeah, and it was a good show. Yeah, oh, yeah, it, it was. 
ex- crowd, the excitement was sort of pal- palpable from the yeah, you know from the go. Yeah, and um, yeah, so I mean, it started off with you know Edge and Roman Reigns, which was probably the best way to start it. Obviously, six man tag, get the crowd hyped. I mean, that pop for Edge was absolutely <laughs> insane. Insane. And yeah, it, all in all, it was just a really good show. A lot of um, a lot of positivity surrounded it because of the return of fans and all that kind of stuff. Um, it was cool to see uh, Finn Balor make his return to the main roster. Yeah, very cool. Um, was that the face though doing his old old face entrance? Oh, which is a bit disappointing, but I do think he will turn heel again very soon. He did do the Hopefully. guns as well, though. He did. That's true. But I do think it will. I think I'll have this feud with Sami Zayn and then hopefully turn heel. He has a cool heel character. I thought he's a very cool heel character. Um, it's a great feud to come back to as well, man. So they they could oh, yeah. potentially have some really really good matches. Oh yeah, big time. So uh, I'm excited to see you know how that progresses going forward. But yeah, it was just a really really good feel good show. Yeah, it really was enjoyable um, from start to finish, and a good a good way to sort of um, you know go home before Money in the Bank. Yeah. I can't remember we talked about last week, but we had uh, Sotsi, Blackheart, now it's known as Sotsi, and um, uh, Nox, Digger Nox, as a tag team, which is interesting. I would have expected, you know, <laughs> the obvious Sotsi and Ember Moon, but uh, apparently not. Weird one. But yeah, Sh- I am Shotzi and Nox. Yeah, weird one. Just but, just taking names off everyone. No <laughs> I guess so. Yeah, a bit random. But they're both good, and they both uh, deserve to be on the main roster, I believe. I think. Yeah. Um, welcome to the main roster. Pick which name you don't want. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Yeah. <laughs> Shotzi and Knox. Yeah, it's weird that they didn't bring Ember Moon back up with uh, Shotzi Blackheart, considering they were the NXT Women's Tag Team Champions. Yeah, it's very bizarre. Really bizarre. But yeah, I mean, it was just you know, it was just it was just great to see fans back, and um, you know, long may it continue. Yeah. As we got Baron Corbin begging for money. Yeah, I quite um, like that. I think that's quite funny. Or the Corbin, Corbin Fund dot com. Yeah, something like that. <laughs> yeah. Wants to reach a hundred thousand dollars or something. <laughs> well, did you see that they registered a trademark for um, Happy Corbin? Oh God, yeah, I did see that. Uh, I, d- I mean, that's where this is going, right? Gotta be. Yeah. yeah please. It's gonna suck. I mean, they could, they, <laughs> they made. Yeah. I mean, I want to be optimist- optimistic about it, but it's just like another shorty G situation, isn't it? Yeah, do you think he's going to come down with like a yellow t-shirt on with like the like, happy face emoji type thing on it? Maybe. It wouldn't surprise me. Happy Corbin. Happy Corbin. God. Yeah. <laughs> with his beginning of the day finishing move. <laughs> beginning of the days, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so it's... Uh, it's I, I, I mean, I don't know how he could possibly be skinned just from losing his crown, but, you know, I don't write wrestling storylines. It just is what it is. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 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 but yeah man so money in the bank money in the bank it was good yeah really, really good, good show man super exciting really really interesting show um we'll gloss over it a little bit because people would have seen it by now mm-hmm. so i thought it was great to see Big E win the money in the bank yes well deserved it's also worth noting here that all of our predictions from this past weekend's pre-show before the pre-show were fucking terrible yeah, well, great. Like, immediately from the pre show, we were wrong. Uh huh. <laughs> <laughs> Jimmy and Lord Jay both win the uh, tag team titles from yep. Ray and Dominic. Wait, what the hell was up with Ray and Dominic's entrance, by the way? I know, what it was, was so that? weird. Like, so why, weird. Are they, like, why are they like. I thought it was Legado del Fantasma at the start. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? So they're both wearing suits, they're showing Ray's mask. I was like, oh, this, is, this looks really weird. What the fuck's going on? Yeah. And then they just step through a portal. But obviously, the live crowd can't see the portal. Yeah, it's just, That's for just us. standing there. Uh, it's so weird. So they just, just walk through the portal, no longer in suits, but in actual wrestling gear. Yeah. Sure. Why not? <laughs> yeah, of course, yeah, why not? <laughs> just the weirdest thing. So weird. But that was a really good match. It was. Yeah, really good. Um, really good pre-show match. Um, it makes sense to put the titles on Jimmy and Jay. So it's got to the storyline. Yeah. Um, yeah. Go do drink driving. You can get away with anything. I guess so, yeah. Don't I like they did, do that. No, no. I do like that they sort of kind of alluded to it during like a backstage promo with Roman. Yeah. 
<laughs> which I thought was quite funny. And he was like, and you? And <laughs> yeah, like, the, the camera like, zoomed in. Yeah. Okay. And the crowd like, ooh. Oh, <laughs> you've been drinking, you naughty boy. In fact, was it drink or was it drugs? I don't even know. I'm assuming I think it was drink. drink. Yeah, I think it was over the limit. I think, oh yeah, because it was two, uh, 2.05 over the limit. And people were calling it like 2.05. Um, oh, of course. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <more>. good times. <laughs> Um, right, elsewhere, Charlotte Flair regained the Raw Women's Championship from Rhea Ripley. Yeah, 49th time title. Yeah, I mean, I feel like at this point, the title reigns are beyond pointless because, you know, to to move on a little bit, Nikki Cross surprisingly won money in the bank. Yeah. And then cashed in the night after on Raw. There she is, happy as pie. Yeah, if Pi can happy be happy. Yeah. yeah, very happy with Nikki. That's awesome. Um, but yeah, that means you could have cast in on Rhea and it wouldn't have, made, wouldn't have made a whole lot of difference. So I'm not sure. No, it would have made no difference at all, actually. Yeah. I'm just trying to get Tyler's number up, which I don't get. Because, yeah, Craig being the 17 time, cha- time champion, but if half the drains are like for a day, then that's not that impressive, is it? <laughs> well, they, they, they said on Raw when she came out to do uh, the promo at the beginning. Oh, well, the pro when she came out to do her promo yeah. before Rhea came out and challenged her, they said she was an 11-time champion, but they've not sort of uh, said that um, she was NXT champion. Yeah, they're not counted the NXT reigns, which is weird. But she was I, only I NXT champion like last year. Yeah, true. Strange. It's really weird, but... Um, I mean, Vince McMahon doesn't give two fucks about NXT. We'll move on to that in a mm. little bit. But um, yeah. Um, yeah, it was great to see Nikki actually win but it just means that it feel like they're just they're just bumping charlotte's numbers up for no reason whatsoever yeah very strange incredibly strange i don't get it i'm not a fan of it i mean i, I think title range should mean something personally but so, um you know a lot of those 11 times have meant nothing because she's lost it so quickly yeah so when much. sasha comes back they're like oh it's a Seven time women's champions, like, yeah, she lost some of them like real quick. Yeah, it's boss time. Yeah, getting a fucking hard on for Sasha Banks being boss time and having all these title <laughs> reigns. <laughs> She's like lost some of them within like less than 24 hours. Yeah, same goes for Charlotte. I'm the greatest of all time. Yeah, having, yeah, winning the title, great, losing it straight away, not great. No, I feel like Bailey Stupid, had it for like actually. over a year. Yeah, Maybe Bailey had a significant great. title reign. Yeah, it was awesome. Whoever jizzed on the NXT championship when Paige had it had a better title reign than what Charlotte had this time. <laughs> Gross. That was a Divas yeah. championship, wasn't it? No, that was the NXT, the original NXT women's title. Oh, was it? Oh, okay. Yeah. Gross. Come on, were you not paying attention? I, I guess I wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> also, why do that? I don't get it. Like, why, why that? Who knows? Hey, do you want to do this on the title? Yeah. Well, why not? Uh-huh. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. Um, the men's Money in the Bank ladder match was really good as well. Ricochet is yep. crazy good. We knew this Insane. Anyway. I love him. Yeah. I am John Morrison. Yeah. And crazy spots. I love it. Crazy spots. Good times. Um, Reg. Reg? Reg. <laughs> Reginald. Reginald. Yeah. Re- well, the new 24-7 Reg. 24-7 <laughs> champion Reg. No. But Edge versus <laughs> Roman Reigns fucking reg um <laughs> was good again um yeah. here we have edge uh with his pipe in roman reigns's mouth yeah <laughs> <Great. laughs> yeah but that was a really good match um seth rollins of course helped roman reigns pick up this victory yeah which is gonna lead to um edge not reg versus <laughs> seth rollins at SummerSlam, which i'm fine with because that'll be good yeah pretty good also oh yeah that, that bump kevin owens took to that ladder Landing Ooh. on his neck. <laughs> yeah, it was nasty. Pretty much. Not not a great landing. No, not a great landing at all. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez. Ouch. Yeah, I mean, the, the risks these guys take, unbelievable. It's insane, yeah. There would have been some sore heads in the morning. <laughs> Just a bit, yeah. Just a touch. I don't, think, I don't think I'd be alive after that. No, no, not at all. Um, yeah, it'd be rip my back, for sure. Yeah. yeah. Rip me in general, actually. <laughs> Um, yeah, so Roman Reigns wins, retains the Universal Championship, cuts a little promo, and then 
<laughs> yeah, I popped. <laughs> oh, I popped hard, man. The, the, the pop that he got was absolutely insane. Yep, yeah, crazy. If you don't know what we're talking about and you're living under a rock, John Cena came back. New t-shirt, <laughs> new cap, new wristbands, new towel, all that shit. New, screen, <laughs> new picture on the screen, all of it. New hair. Yeah, new haircut. <laughs> yeah, that somehow stayed like perfectly done, even though he's wearing a baseball cap. Yeah, that's a good point. It's pretty impressive. Yeah, good stuff. I mean, he's he must have got some serious like hairspray on there. I guess so. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, man, it was great to see him back. Uh, he looks great, and him versus Roman Reigns is going to be money at SummerSlam. Yeah. Oh my god. It's going to be amazing. Yeah, I mean, he cut a cool promo on Raw as well, saying that he was back and. You know, he wasn't going anywhere anytime soon, and that's, that's good to hear. I mean, you know, good. we know that he's filming a... He's got a movie project coming up. You know, the internet just tells you these things. It's just yeah. what it is. So we know he's going away yeah. at some point, but it's great to see him back for now. I mean, how can you not love that kind of crowd reaction? Yeah, insane. Like, I, I didn't watch that live. I watched most of it live. I got to the main event and thought, ah, oh, good time. I'm going to get away. There's all, I mean, obviously, Green's going to win. Nothing big's going to happen. <laughs> watch the next day. <laughs> Luckily, I didn't look at social media the next day, so it was still a surprise. Yeah, and yeah it was just it John was just, a, just a great surprise. Great to see him back. I mean, it just shows how much he's missed, and he, you know what yeah. sort of level he is at now in terms of legendary status. Cena's right up there, unlike Vin Diesel, who was in crap. <laughs> yeah, nah, Cena's great. Happy to see him back. Yeah, definitely. Welcome back, John. Cool little interaction on Raw with uh, Matt Riddle as well at the beginning, oh, yeah. like doing the bros. Bro, bro. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, Money in the Bank I thought was a really good show. Hopefully, you know the, the momentum's on WWE side of the minute, especially with crowds coming back. Um, I just hope they can ride the wave of momentum because you do worry that booking is going to slip, meaning the quality yeah. of the product slips and everyone loses interest once again. Yeah, uh, happy for Biggie, happy for Nikki. I hope Biggie gets a long time with a briefcase. Yeah, I'm not, a huge, not, a, not a huge fan of these instant cash-ins. I'm as happy as I am for Nikki. Um, I am. I do prefer it when they hold on to it for a while. Yeah, I look forward to Biggie's shenanigans. Do you think <laughs> he'll? <laughs> I mean, there's obviously a draft coming up, so we don't know what's going to happen. But um, yeah. would you think Biggie would basically go for Reigns? Um, I, I don't know. Really, depends. Yeah, it depends where it goes. I don't see him catching anytime soon. No, so, I don't. You know, anything can happen. So we'll see. Yeah. Um. So. Mm. Yeah, so Lashley walked out of Money in the Bank as the WWE champion after pretty much squashing Kofi, which, to be yeah. honest, I was okay with because that's, you know, they, they want to build Lashley up as this dominant champion, and I get it. Yeah, I wasn't as bad as Lesnar. No, 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 I mean, Les Lesnar literally did it. Did he do an F5 and that was it? Yeah, exactly. But yeah, this is a better way to do it. And yeah, Bobby looks dominant, which is always a good thing. He needs to look dominant to be, you know, yeah, to be the champ. Yeah, and on Raw, Bobby Lashley issued an open challenge. Mm. And guess what happened? Keith Big, Lee Lee. Big Keith returned. Big pop for me again. <laughs> Great pop. I hope this isn't a you know he's not just going to disappear again. I hope this is hope him not. back on Raw every week now. I know they're trying to be. pressure Raw up, so hopefully this is part of it. I know he lost, mm. which was to be expected against the champion. Uh, because let's be fair, Big E. Uh, sorry, not Big E. Uh, Lashley Big uh, then went to, uh, you know, move his next challenger very quickly came along and shouted yeah. in his face. Hopefully he brushed his teeth. Yeah. Uh, not a fan of this. I think Keith Lee should have had more of a... It should have been a longer match. Keith Lee should have been a bit more... Had a bit more offense. Um, yeah, I could agree with that. Because this is basically to get Goldberg to be the next challenger, which I'm not a fan of. Like, you, they use Keith Lee to get Goldberg in. Yeah, I mean, I'm happy that Keith Lee's shit. back. Yeah, me too. I'm happy to keep his back. But I, I don't do know think what he his have been. situation's been, whether he's been injured or out of favour or what. I mean, I think injured, but I'm yeah. not 100% sure. But yeah, essentially you are right. They've used Keith Lee's return to then sort of bring Goldberg back. And we all knew it was happening because we saw it in you know on the internet last week. Yeah. Um, but it is good. he got a huge pop. He did. I don't know how long that'll last. But yeah. Well, I, I, don't, I don't think he'll win. I don't think he'll beat no. uh, Lashley at SummerSlam. No way. No, 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 he said that. He will. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Because, I mean, if our <laughs> predictions for Money in the Bank are anything to go by, that's definitely happening. Yeah. I feel like they could have brought Keith Lee back against someone else and have him win and be dominant and book him like that rather than just have him come back and lose. 
Yes, yeah. I agree. I, I, I agree. Totally. Um, but pff, it's WWE, isn't it? You know, he's just yeah, very true. We're just uh, we're just used to these things now. Mm. Pretty much. Uh, speaking of interesting uh, returns slash debuts, here's how it started. <laughs> Carry Carrying Cross, the NXT champion, just walks out on his own, looking pretty lonely without Scarlet sort of crawling all over him and singing the song and generally being awesome. Mm, nice mate. Um, he lost. That's right, lost in three minutes after a dominant start, a few T-bone suplexes, cool. Uh, but Jeff Hardy, who is supposedly yeah. the face in this situation, yeah, um, cool music. She, she, oh yeah, no more words is back. Great music. Yeah. yeah. Um, but that doesn't warrant him beating the NXT champion. But nope. Uh, this again goes to Vincent Mann. Probably, I mean, I, I would assume this is now to build up uh, Karrion Cross, who is seen here crying. Um, <laughs> you know, to now go on a rampage. Um, and I expect Jeff Hardy to be murdered next week on on Raw. Yeah, this is. I said this before, but I don't see how you can look at his level on NXT with the cool entrance, Scarlet, and the dominance, and think, nah. Get rid of all that. Just bring him out. <laughs> yeah, just just have him walk out. <laughs> yeah, that's so stupid. What you, uh, I hate, I hate Vince. What's he doing? Well, I just don't get it. That's the, that's the thing. I mean, you know, I'm not so mad about him losing. But yeah, I just hope it leads to something. But yeah, you know, just... he's been absolutely killing guys on NXT and still is. Yeah. Um. But yeah, I don't get it. Just bring back his entrance. Bring back Scarlet. Have him. Have him kill everybody. <laughs> Yeah, uh, I just oh, I don't get it. I mean, uh, the only thing I can really think here is that Vince works on the assumption that people who watch Raw don't watch NXT. I guess, but yeah, I mean, like this is supposedly like a message to NXT saying, you know, it's what Vince really thinks of NXT. I don't know if that's true or not, but I'm not sure that's the case. I mean, I don't, yeah. I don't think he gives a shit about what happens <laughs> on NXT Maybe. because you know, as soon as they get to Raw, that's his show. Yeah, what I think is weird that they brought him on to have like. Charlotte matches is like what's NXT that's what it's there for you know it's the dead man more brands what's that I think stuff like that is more to sort of test his entrance out um, I guess and stuff like that for just to make sure it looks okay on TV and whatnot. Um, but with this I mean it's got to lead to something bigger and better right it's got to lead to Jeff Hardy eventually just getting murdered by Cross I hope so I really hope so for me they, they should have waited until Cross has lost the championship and then brought him up yeah. That's you know that's the standard NXT thing to do. I don't like the idea of him sort of coming up with the NXT Championship, being made to look fucking stupid, <laughs> uh, which you know he has. I mean they they could very well redeem him next week, and I'm sure they will, because yeah. the guy is look. I mean look at him. You know he's ready made for this. I mean he looks like a, he's a, he's an absolute monster. Yeah, he has crazy. WWE Champion written all over him, big time. Um, but. I guess the the one saving grace of this is it wasn't a twist of fate, swan on bomb, clean pin, one, two, three. It was yeah. a Jeff Hardy needed to cheat to win to beat him. Good and one. then, of course, he did cut a promo afterwards saying that, you know, Jeff Hardy, you're going to get fucking murdered next week, basically. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Um, but yeah, I agree with much everything you just said. Um, I do think he's a loser's championship. Uh, Kevin Owens did come up with the, with the belt, but I think he did it better because he was like, Dominant with it, where you like winning matches and well, beat Cena. Many, yeah, exactly. Yeah, that many feuds Cena, which is great. But what Kevin Owens did that was better was Kevin Owens came up for John Cena's open challenge. That's true. Very said true. he was already a champion and uh, that that was better than Cena's, basically. Very mm-hmm. true. So that you know, know made that. NXT <laughs> look better, whereas yeah. this was stupid. Uh, it, you know, it didn't doesn't really make any sense to have him come up with the title you know being the dominant champion and build him up with a video package and all that sort of stuff for Jeff Hardy just to, who was supposed to be the face cheat to win yeah it's weird that like last year they were trying to make NXT um, like the third round like bring them on maybe last year the year before like having them involved with Survivor Series and stuff like that having Charlotte go to NXT mm-hmm. and now it seems like they're just getting rid of all that like they're not acknowledging Charlotte's title reigns um I mean, I you think know, I think like this is you know maybe some sort of punishment for NXT not doing well against AEW or not as well as they wanted them to in the you know quote unquote imaginary Wednesday Night War because obviously NXT mm. eventually lost that war um, if yeah. you want to call it that and have moved to Tuesdays. Yeah, maybe. Vince is weird. Who knows what he thinks? Well, that's true. Next week he could. 
Cross could be dominant and all is right with the world again. <laughs> Definitely. But this is why you fear for anyone coming up from NXT to Raw. I'd rather just yeah. watch them in NXT. Yeah, it's like the time you know, Johnny Gargano and um, Tomato Champa and it's like blood feud in NXT. And all of a sudden they were up on the main roster as a tag team. <laughs> Oh, Again, this Vince. is a case of Vince thinking that people who watch the main roster just don't watch NXT. Yeah. Ugh. The internet doesn't exist. Yeah, I guess not, yeah. Yeah, so um, we've already touched on it, but at the end of Raw, of course, Nikki Cross did Nikki Ash, or Nikki whatever Ash. they're calling it. Or Almost a superhero, A-S-H. Nikki Ash. Yeah. Nikki A-S-H. It's mouthful, uh, isn't it? Almost a superhero, Nikki A-S-H. Yeah, just be, be one Ash. or the other. Yeah, yeah. Call her Nikki Ash. That's a cool enough name. Yeah, I thought it worked last week. And then just changed it. Yeah, yeah really weird. Oh well. Right. Uh, speaking of NXT, obviously the the feud that they are building up at the minute is Samoa Joe versus Karrion Cross, the dominant NXT champion who lost in three minutes due to Jeff Hardy cheating <laughs> on Raw. Yeah. Um, William Regal basically said, "Joe, that's not what you were employed for. Uh, you're employed as an enforcer." Um, or like a, a corporate member of staff, you're not a wrestler, blah, blah, blah. Um, Joe is going to murder Karrion Cross and win the NXT title. Yeah, that makes... Absolutely, that absolutely makes sense. You know, yeah. Cross is the main roster. Joe's back looking dominant. Yeah, it's going to yeah. happen. And then we get great. loads of... We got all these cool matches on NXT. We get Pete Dunn versus Joe. We get Adam Cole versus Joe. We get Scarlet versus Joe that's been yeah. seasoned over the last few weeks. So, you know... <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um, th- this is happening... Um, Joe is clear to wrestle now. Um, yeah, good. And I'm sure we'll find this out in NXT over the next couple of weeks. Uh, NXT TakeOver is the night after SummerSlam. Yeah. So it's the Sunday Cryptic. night. Yeah. Oops. So I don't, I don't know if it's the Capital Wrestling Center or whether it's at, um, whether it's in an arena or what. Yeah. Well, sure. But yeah, it's going to be good. Either way. It's weird that they've left yeah. it around. It's my uh, summer's time on Saturday. Yeah, um, that's got to be something to do with the venue. Well, be. Well, that yeah, it just has to be, doesn't it? Yeah, makes sense. Yeah, but it's gonna be great either way. Yeah, I mean, Samoa Joe versus Cross is gonna be great, but yeah. they need to stop making Cross look like a dickhead on Raw. <laughs> yeah, because otherwise, why should we believe in him beating Samoa Joe potentially? Yeah, not that I think time. he will, but. Yeah, and Joe mentioned they was on board as well, didn't he? So they're not even like pretending it's not happening. Yeah. So yeah, weird. Yeah, it's uh, it's very weird. But um, later in the night on NXT, uh, Karrion Cross decided he was going to kill William Regal, <laughs> Great. and uh, feuding, you know, fueling the fire, um, leading into this feud with Samoa Joe. The, I mean, surely it has to end with Joe winning the title. I can't see any other point to this. Yeah, exactly. Surely. Because Cross is now on Raw, like you just said. Joe's only just come back. Put the belt on Joe. Send Cross off to Raw, and to chase the twenty four seven title around or whatever. And um, <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, but, makes perfect uh, sense. Yeah, I mean, so, I mean, NXT is so super enjoyable still. Um, the breakout tournament's still ongoing. Odyssey Did Jones, it? the latest to advance. Yeah, that's yeah. Um, obviously, very inspired by Mark Henry. Mm. Uh, you know very similar look in terms of ring gear and that sort of stuff and does use the world's strongest slam as a finish as well yeah cool so Odyssey Jones is a, is a great name it is isn't it yeah I like it Odyssey Jones yeah real strong real strong name uh, speaking of strong great transition uh, Kushida and hey. Bobby Fish beat Roderick Strong and Tyler Rust in a tag team match cool um, I worry for Bobby Fish's future I'm not going to lie yeah he's getting on a bit in age um I, and i don't yeah i don't after this little sort of feud he's gonna have with roderick strong i don't know what he does yeah i can't see him maybe he stays in the cruiserweight division a bit um i don't know it's weird i mean with in undisputed era he fit in perfectly because you know him and kyle mm. o'reilly great tag team they won the tag team titles and adam cole was there to do the talking for them yeah. Whereas now he's got to do the talking on his own. He's not the strongest talker. Now I'm not. I don't want to knock him because I really like Bobby Fish. I think he's a great wrestler. Yeah. I think he's, you know, he, he's just great. But I don't know. Out of what everyone from the Undisputed Era, he's the only one who hasn't really carved out his own path. Because you got Kyle O'Reilly doing his own thing. He had a phenomenal match with Austin Theory this week mm, on NXT, good. which I thought was really, really good. Austin Theory looked great. Really 
proved that he can hang with the very best. Mm hmm. Um, you know, Adam Cole obviously is in a feud at the minute with Bronson Reed before um, he moves on to feud, I'm sure, with Samoa Joe when he wins the championship. That'd be awesome. Um, you know, but, and Roderick Strong, of course, with Diamond Mine. Yeah. The only maybe, thing I can really maybe. think is that Bobby Fish joins Diamond Mine. Oh, maybe. That could work. Yeah, other that, maybe just start to tag team with someone else. Maybe. But yeah. Yeah, you're right. I'm not sure what else they can do, really. Nothing against yeah. them, as you said. <laughs> I no, like them a yeah. lot. I like him a lot as well, and that's that's not me trying to be against Bobby Fish or pulling down because it's not that's not the case at all. It's just I don't I don't know what direction they take with him because yeah. I know he, he's had a lot of injuries as well, which obviously hasn't helped. But everyone else, you know, Roderick Strong even went away and came back with something brand new. But Bobby True. Fish is just Bob being just there. It's Bobby it's like, Fish. Oh, yeah. you were in the undisputed era with me. I want to beat you up. <laughs> Pretty much. Yeah, the real question is how much fish could Bobby Fish fry if Bobby Fish could fry fish? That's, never answered. <laughs> that's, that's exactly right. Yeah, mystery. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, but I, you know, I wish him the best. I, I hope they do find something. I, I mean, I think him maybe joining Diamond Mine, maybe going for the Cruiserweight title. Yeah, yeah or just, just turning heel and going for the Cruiserweight title. Even that yeah, would maybe. be a better Why direction not? than him just sort of floating around. Yeah. Um, Hopefully they find something for him. I hope so. Him go. Yeah. Um, Frankie Monet won again. Nice. She's um, she's awesome, man. I really like her. Yeah, me too. Yeah. So you can see there in this picture, if you're watching the video version, with Jessica Mayer and uh, Robert Stone, who mm -hmm. uh, I have a feeling is probably going to get the shit kicked out of him again. <laughs> probably. But this time by either Jessica Mayer or Frankie Monet. Uh, once mm -hmm. again, Mandy Rose was at ringside. She was lying across the uh, announce table. Yeah. Way Barrett was pleased. He was pretty pleased, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love Way Barrett and commentary, by the way. Yeah, me too. It's great. Uh, the NXT announce team's really good. Yeah. Yeah, I, I agree. I think they're my favourite announce, announce team right now. Yeah, really, really cool. good stuff. And I do like McAfee and Cole on SmackDown as well. That's yeah, true, yeah. They're great as well. Yeah. Um, but, you know, an, um, another good showing from NXT again this week. Raquel Gonzalez, of course, uh, defended the um, Women's Championship against Zia Lee successfully. Yeah, Zia Lee looked like she got injured which is never a good thing never a good thing um i really like zylia i hope she's the champion one day yeah i think she will be for sure yeah look at i think the injury ever got um announced as anything let's have a look i know she got she got did she get stretched out um i'm not sure let's have a look um i don't think, I don't think it doesn't look like anything serious i'm not announcing anything like She's going to be away for any amount of times. So hopefully, she's going to be away. Well, that's good. That's good news. Yeah. But yes. Yeah. You can tell it seems to happen that something something wasn't right. Yeah. Imagine yeah, having definitely. pretty much all, all of uh, Gonzalez's weight landing right on her ribs. Ouch. Yeah. And Gonzalez's not a small girl. She's uh, she's no. very, very like big in terms of like muscle stature. Yeah. Um, muscle. She's great as well, by the way. Who I don't know who lo she loses that title to. My only yeah. guess would be that um, Dakota Kai turns on her and beats her for it. I don't know. Yeah, that's my first thought as well. Um, but yeah, she's great. She's improved so much since she's debuted. Yeah. She's great. So good. I mean, I can see Raquel Gonzalez going to the main roster and, uh, you know, being a part of it. I mean, they, need to, they do need to revamp the women's division up there because, um, for the most part, it's not very good. <laughs> yeah. Well, there's not well, much competition. I mean, who could you realistically see beating Bianca Belair for the title? Yeah, I mean, it could bring, um, well, I'm sure Becky Lynch will be back sooner rather than later. Yeah. And Sasha Banks is, will come back at some point, I imagine. That's the way she's gone. The thing is, you can't keep relying on these same people. Good point. True. You've got to build new stars. I mean, you know, Rhea Ripley will be the women's champion again. Mm. I mean, it's, it's refreshing that Nikki's the, the champion at the minute. Yeah, that's cool. I, yeah, probably about that. Because it's something different. It's not Charlotte and it's not, you know, it's not Rhea. I feel like, you know, they've been champions wherever they are for the better part of two years. Yeah. My only fear is that Nikki's going to lose it straight back again at SummerSlam. Back to Charlotte. <laughs> Maybe. Um, I hope not. not. No. Yeah, I really hope not. Um, obviously, you know, Charlotte getting pissed off at the Becky chance. Unlucky. <laughs> I know, that's funny, actually, yeah. yeah. And it's like they'll the blank out the screen, but yeah. <laughs> yeah. Do you see on Raw, obviously, when Charlotte said that Becky was at home breastfeeding, and then Becky tweeted out saying, I am at home <laughs> breastfeeding, and I'm still the most over woman here. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's funny. 
Facts. Facts. <laughs> but yeah, I could see Raquel Gonzalez playing a good part on uh, the main roster. Maybe get drafted up. Yeah, might be okay with that. Hmm. Um, Tony Storm debuts on, on SmackDown this coming Friday. Oh yeah, that'd be good. And then obviously they've got Aaliyah as well that they've just brought up that they're going to have to really promote to, you know, get her anywhere. Yeah, didn't she's not exactly NXT. set the world on fire in NXT. No, no. But yeah, that's very happy to see Tony Storm on the main roster. I think she'll do well. Yeah, I think um, so. Cool music as well. Great music. Great, theme. great, great yeah. look. She's Tony Storm is so good. So good. She's a superstar. She looks like a superstar, and they should treat her as such. Yeah, they don't and give I her a new gimmick. <laughs> they take away take away all her personality to make her a generic. Yeah. Um, she'll just be called woman. She, She'll just be called Tony. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> they do what they did with Carmella and Liv Morgan to make her gimmick. She's attractive. Here you go. <laughs> That's the problem with WWE, isn't it? I mean, they, they do sort of... Uh, they, they really do love the, the looks over anything else. Person, You've got some seriously yeah. unique like women. I mean, obviously, you know, last week, Gigi, um, who lost her match, she looks unique, but there's no way yeah. she's going to look like that if they ever bring her to the main roster. <laughs> Shotzi <laughs> Black, I'll have blonde hair soon. <laughs> yeah. Won't surprise me. <laughs> but, yeah. I mean, but yeah, NXT was good this week. Um lots of good stuff to to come from there i'm sure really looking forward to seeing how uh, the samoa joe and carrying cross feud builds as we move towards um summer slam weekend and takeover yeah um, AQ was a great again this week um really really good but let's start before we talk about aw let's talk about the rumors that have been swirling mm. around this week of uh, both cm punk and daniel bryan wow. being in talks with the company the latter daniel bryan um, has apparently signed. Yeah, Brian Danielson. Come on, the Dragon, the American Dragon, Brian Danielson. Of course, sorry. Yeah, that's the one. Yeah, um, yeah. Come on, imagine not only Danny Bryan but CM Punk at the same time in AEW. That would that would elevate them so much, and maybe maybe even take over like Raw SmackDown as far as views go. Eventually. Yeah, I mean to be honest, the, the show, and I said this in our Discord earlier on, the the show feels special every week. Like this week was Fighter Fest Night Two, and it just felt great. Oh, yeah. The crowd were up for it, and you never know what's going to happen on AEW. Whereas Raw and SmackDown, you know, you can sort of see how it's going to pan out to a degree. Um, but with AEW, it's it's just you know it's very different every week. Like you don't know who's yeah. going to turn up. I mean, for example, so Jericho um, is currently going through this five labors of Jericho um, storyline, and the the end game should he get through all five labors is he gets to fight MJF again. So this week he beat Sean Spears. Next week he's having a hardcore match against Nick Gage. Cool. Um, you don't know who that is, do you? I don't. <laughs> okay. That's cool, though. So Nick Gage is, um, he does a lot of hardcore stuff. He was in GCW, well, he is in GCW. And if you remember mm -hmm. recently, Matt Cardona turned up in GCW to start uh, a fight. Yeah. That was the yeah. guy he started a fight against. Mm. Cool. Um, so it's a hardcore match next week, and that's going to be... That's going to be awesome. But again, you know, totally random. Just Nick Gage turning up in AEW. Might yeah. even be a one and done thing just to lose to Jericho next week. But um, <laughs> they'll put a show on. Um, Jericho's oh, going to yeah. be the pain maker next week as well. So he's got the uh, the black oh, the... crosses on the eyes and stuff. So uh, Interesting. Okay. So, yeah, that's happening next week. That's uh, Labor 2 of the five Labors of Jericho. Nice. Called back and forth between Sting and Orange Cassidy. Here's Sting <laughs> doing the Orange Cassidy kicks to Orange Cassidy. Uh, they both did it and then Sting did like a, a real half-hearted like chest uh, thing like a lazy one like uh, Orange Cassidy would do oh yeah uh, so that was cool um, Andrade El Idolo um, has a new friend in the form oh. of Chavo Guerrero oh wow that's awesome so yeah that's cool so Chavo Guerrero is uh, a better speaker than Andrade because you know Andrade um, he has a very thick accent, so when he does speak English, yeah. um, he's not always the clearest. Yeah, they're like all legends, aren't they? Yeah, but Chavo Guerrero is now uh, sort of hanging out with Andrade El Idolo, which is cool. Awesome. Very cool. And it looks like they're going to sort of head into a feud with Pac and, well, the Death Triangle. So Pac and um, the Lucha Brothers. And oh That's... my God, can you imagine the caliber of matches we're going to get there? Oh, man. <laughs> so good that'd be so good amazing uh, the main event of uh, Dynamite this week was a Texas death match between uh, so it was for the IWGP United States Heavyweight Championship 
defended by John Moxley against nice. uh, the Murder Hawk monster Lance Archer. So we're in a Texas awesome. Deathmatch. You, it's like a last man standing hardcore match, basically. All right. Okay. Okay. And John Moxley lost, and oh, we wow. have a new IWGP United States Heavyweight Champion. Wow, it's cool that they're defending like other brands' styles, and, like acknowledging <laughs> like New Japan. Yeah, that's cool as shit. It's so good. So I mean, wrestling is crazy at the minute. I mean, obviously Impact had their pay per view at the weekend, and Jay White of the Bullet Club. Uh, who is wow. the never open weight ch- champion in New Japan Pro Wrestling? He turned up. Cool. And he's going to be on Impact this week. Nice. Well, that's a fucking huge get. He was linked with WWE at one point. Oh, was he? He just <laughs> strolls up in the Impact Zone. That's awesome. Like in Bullet Club gear to you know confront Omega and all them all them guys and the Good Brothers. That's awesome. Yeah, that's that absolutely rules. Uh, Mickey James came back. Thought she probably oh, would. I saw that. Yeah, that's awesome. Um, Thunder Rosa was the um, the mystery opponent for Diana Perrazzo. Uh, yeah, big fan of Thunder Rosa. She's everywhere at the minute. It's just great that everyone can wrestle everywhere and get so much exposure. Yeah, the only one's not playing ball at WWE. <laughs> <laughs> I know. It's yeah. I just don't get happened, is it with, with uh, WWE? No, definitely not. But it, you know, it makes everywhere else just so exciting. Yeah, it really does. I mean, you need to catch up. <laughs> I mean, you just can watch no it back for free on the Impact app. Every yeah, week. true. True. So you haven't even got to pay money for it. Which Very true. Um, Chelsea Green came back. She was the mystery partner. Surprise, surprise for Matt Cardona against Kurt Hawkins and uh, Tenille Dashwood. And um, Chelsea is going to be on uh, Impact this coming week. Uh, they're having a six-man, uh, six-person tag team match. Nice. Yeah. Very cool. Uh, also, randomly. No way, Jose was on. <laughs> oh yeah, was at Slammiversary. Uh-huh. But he, they, they've done a WWE, and obviously now he's just called No Way. Oh really? <laughs> That's they weird. Just, just give him another third name. Yeah. Yes, way, Jose. No, what do you? No way, <laughs> Tone or something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, no way, Tone. Way, Tone. No way, <laughs> Tone. Yeah, just just give him it's another a, name. He's just. Yeah. But now, for now, he's just No Way. Because now they can't chart along, can they? They can't do the chant. No, they just got to go. No way. Mm-hmm. No. <laughs> <laughs> no way. No way. <laughs> no, yeah. No way. No way. <laughs> like, what we're supposed to do, we don't know. Yeah. But, um, yeah. So wrestling's crazy at the minute, man. People are just all over the place, wrestling everywhere, and it's just a great time to be a wrestling fan. Yeah, that's awesome. I mean, if you think WWE sucks, that's fine. And there, there is so many other places to just watch amazing wrestlers do amazing wrestling. Yep. <laughs> so, um, yeah. So, yeah, man. So, by all accounts, the Impact Show was great at the weekend. Uh, it was great to see people sort of uh, return and, you know, turn up out of the blue. It's craziness, man. We've got another Bullet Club member um, going to be on Dynamite next week, challenging the Murder Hot Monster for the IWGP United States Championship. Awesome. So, yeah, wrestling is so exciting right now. Yeah, it really is. Very excited to see where it goes. Yeah, definitely. So, but you should definitely broaden your horizons. Yeah, I need to. It's just not enough time for everything. <laughs> There's so much wrestling. I know, I know. There, there is a lot of wrestling. To be fair, there is a lot. But I'll try. Uh, I'll try and at least watch the highlights. Yeah, definitely do. I mean, just catch up with the highlights of AEW and, and Impact. So obviously, if you're going to watch Raw, SmackDown, and NXT in full, yeah, um, yeah, the internet's your friend. It really is. Yeah. For sure. So yeah, there it is. Exciting week in wrestling. I'm sure we're heading into another one, you know, this coming week. Um, and yeah, we'll be back next week to to talk about all of that. Oh yeah. Not sure what episode number is going to be next week. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see. The 150 prelude. Prelude. 150 prelude. <laughs> <laughs> that's not a bad idea. Yeah, that's really good. <laughs> uh, have, you got any, have you got anything else you wanted to add or talk about before we go? Um, I think that's about it. Really. That's about it. Yeah. It's been a good show. We've given the people what they want this week. We've given them a, exactly. a good, hefty podcast. We did. We had a good uh, game heap. Great game heap. Yeah. yeah. Next week we'll do a wrestling heap. A wrestling That'd heap, yeah. That sounds good. Yeah. Wrestle heap. Wrestle heap. I like it. Sounds perfect. It does. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> right, guys. Um, we hope you've enjoyed the show this week. Um, go check us out on social media at Games and Graps on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. Um, mm-hmm. Search Games and Graps on TikTok for some funny content on there. And 
yeah, for now, this has been episode 149.7 of the Games and Grabs podcast. We are a weekly video game and wrestling podcast that posts on all podcast services everywhere. Everywhere. And youtube.com forward slash games graps. Ladies and gentlemen, yes. my name is Synergy, and I've been here as always with Finn Steele. Goodbye. And we will indeed see you next week. Take it easy, guys. Goodbye. Thanks so much. Goodbye. Powered by Extreme Speech.